Today, I will be covering the best way to take down Hyperius and Tovaris at the end of the mission, Pelican Down on Legendary Difficulty. Now, of course, this strategy will work on Heroic, Normal, and Easy Difficulty as well. Now, these boss battles can be difficult because this fight challenges you with two foes head on at the same time. So what that means is the first task with this boss battle is you need to isolate Hyperius and lure him away from his teammate. Hyperius is the brute that is on the chopper. This will allow you to take a fair 1v1 fight with Hyperius without Tovaris getting in the way. Now, I recommend using that downed aircraft that's next to both of these bosses. You're going to be able to lure Hyperius on his Brute Chopper away from his teammate by playing cover behind the ship. And you're gonna be in some water, like a little trench. Now, a major difference with this boss battle though is that you are not restricted to one area. You have a huge map to use and try to take these guys down. Furthermore, a major tip with these bosses is that if you leave the general area, you will lose all damage progress to the bosses, but the vehicle damage will be sustained, or if it was already destroyed, that brute chopper will remain destroyed. Try your best to utilize fusion coils and anything you can find to do some damage to him on that Brute Chopper. Once the Brute Chopper is destroyed, I recommend you fight Hyperius on the eastern side of the area with the cover of the crashed ship with the Spartan Core. Take down his shields with a few bursts of the Pulse Carbine. Now the thruster, I recommend you equip the thruster because it makes it easier to dash behind cover because he is equipped with a Ravenger. Make sure you scan and look for ammo crates and weapons and there are a couple of battle rifle assault rifle racks closer in next to the ship just again make sure you're scanning to look for ammo crates and weapons because you might have to get creative to finally put down hyperius but he's much easier once he's out of that brute chopper now tovaris is the easier of the two to kill but still makes for a challenging boss if you're not careful you're going to want to clear out all the enemies surrounding him a lot of them are going to have skewers so they can one shot you but once you've cleared all the that out Tavares is going to be located on one of two perches now the first perch has several fusion coils shoot out the fusion coils for quick and easy damage to his shields for this boss I recommend something with range like a sniper rifle or a skewer you should be able to find a skewer around the area since brutes will have them within this arena area another powerful weapon for draining shields is the pulse carbine or the sentinel beam now the only weapon Tavares uses is the scrap cannon and it packs a pretty big punch but the further away you are from him the less accuracy he will have now the only problem with Tavares is that he will go and hide when he is getting damaged so to kill Tavares you need to have a weapon that melts shields from a distance quickly like the sentinel beam and a power weapon with range once you have those and hopefully a few grenades equipped now if you scan in this area you will find a rocket launcher in this room but also a hydra also keep in mind there's an audio log with some lore if you want that as well once you're able to take out his shield use those rockets use that hydra throw down a drop wall and use those big banging weapons to your advantage another quick tip is that you can use the grapple shot to pull weapons to you the battlefield is going to be littered with weapons late on in the fight and you're going to be running out of ammo so use your grapple shot to grab weapons that are nearby without exposing yourself so you can put on more damage to Tavares. now once these guys both are dead all you need to do is find the pilot reunite with the pilot and get a cutscene. You'll wrap up the mission and you will have completed that legendary boss battle. Now guys, I will have absolutely every single boss battle on legendary with tips on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and then check out the other videos so you can dominate Halo Infinite on legendary difficulty.